hi guys hi family i hope you are doing well wherever you're watching our channel from so guys there is this certain lady ambaye sita mtaja jina yake alafu alikuja saudi arabia feb that is last year so sahi yako na amnafaa kumaliza uh, contract yake feb uh, feb feb next year So guys, uh, mi alikuja kwa inbox yangu sikuwa namjua. Akanielezea, akaniambia iko hivi na hivi. Akaniambia yeye alirepiwa na kijana na brother ya Waiguru. Alirepiwa na kijana wa Waiguru na alikuja na kisu kwa kwa room yake akamwambia utanipea ama nikurarue na hii kisu. So yeye akapeana mali ikagongwa. Guys, taki matusi. Nataka tumsaidie wenye wako. Ako hapa kwa comment section akifollow, tafadhali tumsaidie kama you have any help. So after that, after kuraipiwa kija uh, brother ya Waiguru, mimi sijui kama ananidanganya ni kijana ni brother ya Waiguru ama ni baba wa hiyo nyumba. But according to what to the messages the nyalini forwardia ni kama ni sister ya Waiguru. So, hizi ndio messages zenye alini nini? Alinitumia. Na guys, please don't judge her. Nobody knows her tomorrow. Wacheni tu tumsaidie mali tutaweza tuone vile ata ata nini. So, ii sitawaekea voice due to some reason alafu juu huyu ni mama wa watoto watatu na aliniambia juu nilimwambia tufanye show aelezee watu alafu tufiche uso wake akaniambia tukifanya show na yeye itakuwa very dangerous juu ako na watoto na ako na mzee maybe hiyo video inaweza viral na ifikie mzee wake so that's why sitawaekea voices zenye alinitumia hapa lakini nitawaekea <coughs> nini na nifiche namba so brother waiguru akamuuliza are you honest that you are pregnant I will buy an abortion drunk tell me if that's the case. Is it true that you are pregnant? We must resolve the matter sooner rather than later. You must run to your sister as soon as, soon as possible. I will save you money and I escape. So akamwandikia tena na Kiarabu hapo sijikanishi. Alafu hapa akaendelea akamwambia I will give you 2000 reals. How will you escape? looking for a better paying job. Lafu hapa akaendelea akamwambia not a problem you will go and find a job. My love run to your sister I'm going to give you a abortion pill. What do you need? Will my sister come to our house today? I will save you money. When does my sister come home? I'm not afraid of her husband. Where is he? Where is Khalid? So according to those messages, unaona huyo huyo brother ya Waiguru anamuuliza uh, sister sister yake atafika nyumbani saa ngapi? Sister yake ako wapi? Bwana yake ambaye ni Khalid ako wapi? Vitu kama hizo. Unaona? So guys, mimi naomba tu kwa uwezo wenu. Huyu aliniambia yeye ako ready kukemboi ama kupelekwa deportation center ama kuokolewa in any way but according to what i tell him ha mimi nilimwambia ndio uko na mimba kama uko na mimi nilimuuliza kwanza uko na mimba akaniambia hajui lakini ana suspect so nikamwambia tu mi nilimwambia tu vizuri siku mficha saa hii anasema ako na mimba akienda deportation center si uko ndo shida itamkumba juu anaweza azalie huko na maybe huko hata pelekwa hospitali maybe, maybe vitu kama hizo aya ndio atakemboishwa kwanza nilishia na some of my fellow kemboys some of my friends But wao walisema 
Huko nje ni kubaya sahi hata chemistry wanakataa kuwapea dawa. I don't know whether si, ni voice siezi waekea hapa due to some reasons. Waliniambia huko nje ni kubaya sahi. Kwanza watu wanashikwa kushikwa. Na akaniambia saa siku hizi hakuna kwenda hospitali. So akaniambia hiyo kesi iko tricky sana. Juata anaezaenda huko nje alafu kiumane. So aliniambia hivyo. So mimi advice yenye naweza mpea ni according to me pia wewe utashare yako hapo kwa comment section. Na msimwambie ati mbona alifungua miguu. Hapana tumsaidie. Jua alikuja tu kwa inbox yangu akaniomba msaada na unaona huyo kijana vile anamtishia. Ni kuna voices zingine hapa siezi waekea hapa. Voices za kutisha. Juu hiyo kijana anamwambia ni, ni yeye atamkemboisha. Anamwambia run get out of our compound. Get out of our sister's compound. I will kemboisha you. Anamwambia ataenda amwache Riyadh, ako Riyadh. Ataenda amwache hapo Riyadh town alafu ampe 2000. Alafu amtoleshe mimba. Si unaona huyo kijana ni kama kuna trick anatumia. Ni kama anataka kumdump mali, alafu amwachanisha hapo, alafu hata asimtoleshe hiyo mimba ama sijui nini. Ju, this kijana is so interested na kumwambia toroka mimi nitakutorokesha na nitakupe kwanza kuna ile ingine ya namwambia ati i will be having sex with you every month i will coming to see you anamwambia toroka uende kwa masisters zako hauna sister hapa dem amechanganyikiwa juana sister hajui ataanzia wapi hajui huyu kijana anataka kumpeleka kwa desert ama ni wapi ataenda kumtupanisha hmm? lakini mimi according to what i say Haki mimi mtu aezi ni rape. Haki na Mungu anisamehe. Saa hizo ukikuja na kisu nitajifanya na kutolea pande. Kama umefunga mudom kama umefunga babu inaitwa aje kwa Kiswahili eh? mlango. Nitajifanya enti sacri bab. Nimuulize umefunga mlango. Niende niangalie nijifanye halafu nifungue hiyo mlango nipite. Na ndio maana ndio maana nawaambia kuna rap cases huku Saudi na mtaki kusikia kuna rap cases na inafikia aje unakuwa raped ukionyeshana meno huku ati mtu akikuongelesha ana sasa huyu huyu msichana nilimuuliza hii ilianzia aje mpaka ukarepiwa akaniambia hii ilianza hivi brother ya waiguru alichukua simu ya madam akachukua namba yangu hapo tukaanza kuchat yeye uh, to some extent huyu mudemo ako honest kaniambia alichukua namba tukaanza kuchat whatsapp nikamchatisha nikamuuliza yeye ni nani akaniambia hivi na hivi kukaenda hivi na hivi so so akaniambia sasa hata hii uh, incident sijui iliapenia kwa nyumba ya waiguru ama ni kwa nyumba ya nani hmm? Sijui sasa hapo. Na this lady is so stranded. Yaani she is so stressed up. Yaani ananiambia, yaani the Ivano TV nisaidie. Ju aliniambia hataki kuambia waiguru na hataki kuambia waititu. Ju au watu wanakuanga kitu moja. So mimi aliniambia hivyo. Kwa hivyo comment at the comment section anafuata nini zenu.